guys, today's manifestation video is going to be similar to the SP topic. I've noticed recently this is one of my most popular topics and type of videos when I talk about SPs and relationships, which I always knew because you know, a lot of people reach out to me, leave comments about relationships and, you know, their desired person. So I kind of always knew that was the most popular topic of conversation and kind of teaching I could offer for manifestation. So today's going to be another one of those videos about removing a third party. So I'm going to go into, I'm not really going to explain the foundation of this or how a third party is created. I'm just going to explain literally how you remove them from your reality. So I do have a lot of my own personal advice in this. You don't have to follow every single step and you may not even agree with it. That's fine. That's the case with every video. You know, sometimes people just won't agree with what you're saying. And yeah, this is just my own personal take on how to remove a third party. I've seen it done myself. I've done it myself. So yeah, let's just get started. And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, turn on that notification bell if you would like more manifestation content. If you're enjoying this so far, I have a lot more videos coming up. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If that's something you're interested in, you can get all the information below from my Instagram, LOA Coaching. I will be doing a couple updates soon um, in terms of what services I offer, the pricing and everything. I've been, yeah, this was my initial setup. So I have been meaning to move things around a little bit, kind of jig it around if that's the right phrase. So yeah, take a look if you're interested currently and let's get started. So I'm going to use a lot of examples for obviously SPs in terms of a relationship, but a third party means any person who is blocking your manifestation or involved in your manifestation, your relationship with whoever. It can, a third party can even be your manager or a colleague. It doesn't have to be, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, ex-partner, whoever. It, well, not boyfriend, girlfriend, I mean like, you know, ex-partner or, your, you know, SP's current girlfriend. It doesn't necessarily just have to be that. It can be anyone who you feel is just causing a blockage or issue and preventing you from having something with your specific person. So first point is literally kind of encompasses my entire advice. If you stop watching the video now, just take this one piece of advice. Stop thinking about them. You are holding them in place in your reality by thinking about the third party, by, you know, going like, oh, so annoying. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he posted an Instagram with her again. Like, oh, they're still together. I wonder what they're doing today, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you're thinking about them, you're literally, obviously, keeping them in place with your thoughts. You're keeping them as your SP's partner, as your SP's, you know, whoever, by thinking about them. If you stop thinking about them and be like, it's just me and my SP, you know, I'm his one and only, I'm her one and only, then how can a third party be involved? Because your assumptions and your thoughts are literally saying, it's just you and your SP. So there cannot be a third party. They have to somehow be taken out of the equation. So next point is to really, a good way of, you know, stopping yourself from thinking about them is a mental diet. It's the first most obvious, simple solution. I mean, there are different ways that you can do it, but it essentially all comes down to a mental diet. You're not allowing yourself to think or stay in the state of those negative thoughts. You're flipping it and following positive thoughts, the complete opposite of that. All the doubts and old story that has been playing out about the third party, you literally just flip it to the opposite. Whether it's through affirmations or mental diet, it all comes down to the same thing. You're creating new positive thoughts about what you want with your SP. That's literally it. And no one would ever want to manifest a third party. They all want, we, we all want commitment, love, loyalty, um, being pursued and chased and courted and having romantic gestures. That's what we all want from an SP. So a third party will never come into that equation because your positive thoughts kind of negate that completely. So through a mental diet, obviously, as I always say, flip it into a positive that is the opposite of, you know, the negative thought. So if you say, why is he still with her? You would say, he's with me. He's never wanted another woman. I've always been his one and only. Something like that. So that's kind of implying the complete opposite. Or you can use an affirmation that implies SP only focuses on you. So create or use one of your existing affirmations. And every time a thought of the third party comes up, you literally just tell yourself the affirmation until your mind moves on to another topic or focuses on the positive affirmation. Next point is very obvious and I have a whole video talking about why you shouldn't check the 3D, but stop looking at the 3D. If this is your SP with uh, in a relationship with a third party, 
mute or delete them on Instagram, on Facebook, whatever, like block them on WhatsApp if you have to, like for a week, if you literally cannot stop yourself and you're spiraling, you just need to block your SP. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it will help and you cannot mess up your manifestation unless you literally give up and stop affirming. That's the only way it will, you know, kind of, uh, you know, fall apart. So even if you block your SP, it's not gonna mean like, oh, they're gonna forget about me forever, they're gonna block me back on everything. That's not the case, it's up to your assumptions. But if you need to block your SP to stop seeing updates about him in the third party or her in the third party, you sometimes need to do that. Do whatever it takes to not focus on the 3D, you know? And literally stop looking at, your, at the third party's content, if you have access to their social profiles, or you have mutual friends, or you know, even if it's your SP's social media pages, stop looking at them. Like I said, if you literally aren't strong-willed enough yet to resist looking at the pages, because I've been there, we've all been there, you know, you, you, you look up X's pages or whoever, someone you're interested in looking at someone's page, even though you, you're not in a good place with them, you're like, oh, but I'm just curious. But guess what? In this situation, it will just hurt you because you don't know what you're gonna see when you click on that page. So it's best to not look at all. Stop looking at their content because that's going to be the easiest way for you to stop your focus from going on the third party or spiraling or if he or she posts a picture of them holding hands with the third party, are you going to feel good? Is it going to help you manifest or are you going to spiral? Because I think we all know the answer to that. So don't even look at it. Don't even give yourself the chance to spiral. You remove the third party by ignoring them. They don't exist. It's you and your SP. Do a visual of what you want your SP's Instagram to look like re-revise the, you know, picture or video or message that you saw about the third party and be like, oh, he was talking about me. She posted a picture of me and me and her. Like, don't, don't engage with that negative content. Why would you want to look at them with a third party? It goes against what you're literally spending time affirming. Another way, as I kind of touched upon just now, is revision. Revision is such a powerful way to remove a third party. It's I don't know if I've done it for a third party, but I have used revision overall when it comes to specific people that I was trying to manifest a certain outcome from, and it works. So you can do this through affirmations, SATs, which is state akin to sleep. It literally just means visualizations, you know, closing your eyes, seeing a visual in your mind, or scripting. Those are three, I don't, I can't think of any other methods myself, to be honest. Those are the three key ones that are the most popular really common, really easy to apply. You can do all three or you can pick just one. I would recommend affirming if you're only gonna do one. But SATS is you can, Agnes, I think her name is Agnes Vivarelli on YouTube. She has a lot of great SP man, uh, guided meditations. So you can watch one of those. She has one literally for removing a third party. And I think it's a, like a guided visualization about your SP specifically. So for example, you can imagine your SP texting you or talking to you in person and telling you, oh, I'm so happy that, you know, it's only been us, that you've always been my one and only. Like, I, of course, I've never been with another girl because I've only ever loved you. You can imagine them literally saying that to you and that literally implies they've never been with another woman, they've never had another relationship, and up to this present moment, it's only ever been you. That removes the third party. So you can do whatever format you want. You can also imagine um, that you can imagine yourself standing with your SP, and you, if you know what their third party looks like, you can imagine them, um, you know, standing somewhere near you, and then you just imagine they start disappearing into thin air, like, and then they just are no longer existing in you or your SP's reality. So that is a potential visual, just anything that implies the third party does not exist, that, you know, that something that implies that your affirmations are removing them from both your realities, anything along those lines that implies a positive outcome. Same with scripting, you can be like, my SP texted me today, or get really specific, be like, my SP messaged me on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever the case may be, and he, he or she told me that he, they literally couldn't stop thinking about me since the moment we broke up, they couldn't even bear to touch another person, they were only thinking about me, they've never wanted another woman, and this whole time they've just been wallowing and thinking about me and obsessing over me and not going on any dates whatsoever. They should get super specific and say exactly what you want. Just be like, they didn't go for anyone else. They only thought about me this whole time of separation. They've just been wanting me, figuring out how to get me back, 
you know, I know for a fact they've been single this whole time, like say whatever you want, whatever wording implies, you know, the outcome that you want. So if you're gonna use affirmations, you can also do this in a scripting format, but if you're gonna affirm and you wanna revise, use words such as has always been, has never. This is literally going to change the past, which is what revision does. So if you say SP has never been with another woman except me, SP has never had a relationship with anyone but me, what does that mean? It implies they were not in a relationship. And how's that gonna manifest? There's a million different ways, but it could be your SP telling you, this whole time I've been single, this whole time I've been waiting for you, that girl that I posted a picture with is not my girlfriend, what are you talking about? That was my cousin. Crazy things can happen, I, it doesn't have to be logical. And if you've created an assumption in your mind about who that third party is, you need to immediately revise. You need to change the story and be like, no, 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 I've got it completely wrong, my SP just confirmed it to me, that's his um, you know, best friend's girlfriend and just the angle of the picture was weird but they're not together or you know, that's actually his cousin. He told me I saw a family picture and that's definitely his cousin who, you know, obviously it's his family, they're not dating. So whatever story you want, just create it because you'll be shocked at what can manifest. Now, if there is one prominent memory, one experience that really caused you to spiral and really broke your heart about your SP in the third party, then you wanna revise that one specific event and I'd probably recommend doing this visually because it's one specific event or scripting. So just l sit down, close your eyes or lay down, loop that visual over and over. Just a short, simple, concise scene that implies that, you know, that event didn't happen, that no, your SP never texted you that. They, they professed their love to you over the text message. You never walked out on the street and saw your SP holding hands with a third party, that it was a completely different couple. And then suddenly your SP turned around the corner and it was them, but they were alone and they came over and hugged you. Something's as simple as that to revise the memory because once you stop thinking about it and once your memory of the event changes, guess what? The entire reality has to change. The, the way this, the event literally played out in reality will change. Your SP won't remember it, it will change. I, I don't know how to add logic to this because there is no logic to explain it. Anyone who's not into manifestation watching this will be like, you're crazy, what are you talking about? That's time travel. It's not, it's just the way revision works. It will just change how things are, it will change the circumstances. So please, if there's one event that messed you up, you just go and revise it. Another simple affirmation you can do is, Third parties don't exist in my reality. And when it comes to mental diet, just touching on this again, you can literally, again, it's a good format of, it's a good way to forget about the third party and like mentally remove them from your reality. If you ever think of them, like I said, if you know their name, if you know what they look like, if you've seen them with SP or it's their husband or wife and you're, you know, you, you've seen a lot of content about them, just be like, and it pops into your head, just say, who is that? I don't know who that is, but they've never existed in my reality and they've never existed in Sally's reality, Tom's reality, Ethan's reality. They just don't exist in our realities. This person is a stranger to both of us when talking about you and your SP. So literally just tell, just convince your mind and trick your mind into thinking, we don't know this person. You've made them up. The name, you know, Sally, the name Emma, the, I've never heard it before. Who are these people, you know? So just trick yourself into being like, I don't even know who they are. Trust me, it works. I've done this sort of thing and I've seen crazy results. It actually does convince your mind to stop thinking about them because you're literally starting to tell yourself that you don't even know who they are. Final point, just to round everything up, is I would say don't wish harm upon the third party. They can be, you know, they can come across as your mortal enemy, like, oh, they stole my SP. Whatever the case may be, even if you hate the third party and they're just nasty, horrible people, it's just best not to wish harm on them because you don't want to manifest something harmful for other people. You can manifest that, you know, SP broke up with them immediately. And yeah, they, they, they might be heartbroken, but you're not manifesting with the outcome of causing harm. You're simply saying your SP isn't, you know, broke up with them and they're no longer together. You can do it that way too. But just try and imply an outcome that is peaceful for everyone involved. You can say either, like I said, completely ignore their existence and don't think about them, don't think about them being with your SP and just be like, I've never known them. SP has never met this person in their life. Or say they've moved on with someone else. They are already in a completely new relationship with someone else in another city. That's not harmful in any way. So please don't say something like, you know, 
third party is um, has been horrifically dumped by SP or the third party is um, completely all alone and SP is mine like just don't go down that harmful route there's no need to be like shady in that way you can manifest your third party being removed from your existence without causing any harm so that's just something I wanted to mention just yeah like I said they've moved on with someone else they're living life happily in a completely different country and everyone's happy you know there's no need to go down the shady route but I know most people wouldn't do that I just wanted to touch upon that because I've seen some dodgy comments around the internet so yeah that is everything I want to say about removing a third party I think it covers everything I might do a follow-up video at some point but please do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye